Hello my loves, it's Kat. How are you? What are you doing? I hope you're good. So today we are doing a pick a card and we are going to find out what is it that you need to hear. What do you need to know? So what you need to do is to choose a card or a crystal. We have card one with um, the smoky aura quartz, card two with honey calcite and card three with garden quartz. So when you have made a decision, go down to the description box to find your timestamp. I will give you a few seconds to decide and when you're ready, I will see you at your reading. Hello my beautiful pineapple ones. So you chose the Smoky Aura Quartz and the Dreamer. A leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. Okay. Um, you are manifesting <laughs> not anything specific, but you are manifesting a completely different life. <laughs> um, I think what you really want is to transform. You really want to transform into something better. Not that you're not good enough, but I feel like you may feel like you may not be good enough. And so you want to transform, completely transform into someone, someone more. And, and in this, at the same time, that would transform your entire life. Um, um, <laughs> Part of me wants to say, that's so awesome, and a part of me is like, mm, is it really necessary? <laughs> um, I feel like a part of you, I feel like there is, like, you want something, but I feel like you may want it in a wrong way. I feel like, I feel almost like you don't want to be you, you would like to be someone else. And that is what I keep keep feeling here. Like you want to not to transform. Okay, okay, okay. So what I feel here is that you would like to be someone else. You would like to have somebody else's life, somebody else's body, somebody else's everything. But you know you can't have that. So you're settling for transforming somebody completely new and leave the current you, the, the you you are in right now, behind. Huh, I'm gonna need some more cards because I may be wrong here, but that is what I feel here. And Like, it's not wrong to think that, but I feel like the way you're going about it is wrong. I feel like there is some sort of um, a shift in, in your thoughts that is required in order to do this properly. And I'm just gonna get into it. I can help you with this. I can totally help you with it, but I just need some more information. So we have a Queen of Swords. That is interesting. So you do want to, you want something more, something else. And you're hiding a part of you 
it's almost like you're embarrassed about something that you are right now and you just want to lock it away and become something new and hope that nobody ever will find out what you were before. That's, that's kind of what I see here. Like you just want to completely cut ties with, with the current you and become something new. I'm not saying it's bad, it's not. I've done it, I'm doing it currently as well, but there's something iffy about this though. There's something a little off. Something that I, I want to address before we get to this. So spirit guides, help me understand the situation. What's going on? Right. So we have Ace of Wands and Three of Pentacles. There is something that you're you're wanting to run away from, and you understand the past that you understand the power of manifestation and the and how you can create your your life. You understand how it works. And that is what you're trying to do. You're trying to make it happen. You're trying to create this whole new life for yourself. Mm. But there is something you need to understand though. If this doesn't resonate with you, then, then obviously it doesn't. But um, if this does, please listen carefully. Um, if you have this deep desire to become someone else and you kind of have this jealousy over, you kind of envy people and you wish that you would have their life or their body or their face or their hair or their house or their money or their family, um, if you have this envy, <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. Because envy is desire. Envy shows you exactly what you want. When you're envious of something, someone's, I don't know, possessions or physical things, then you know what you want. What do you want in your heart? You know what it is. If you want somebody's apartment, like, oh, God, I wish I had that, this person's apartment, it's so beautiful, then that is what you want. You want a beautiful home that you feel safe in. And if you want somebody's body, let's say, then you want to feel comfortable in your skin. You want to feel free and not feel embarrassed or or always be wondering what other people are thinking of you. So then that is what you want. If you're if you feel envy about envious about something, then think of it more more as a desire. And the thing here though, I feel like This, this desire to be someone else, someone other than you, it's a bit concerning. Um, because, first of all, it can't be anybody else than you. Um, you. You can't become, you can become, you can change as a person, but deep down, you will always be you. You will always have the experiences that you have had, but you may look at them differently. And let's say, let's say you could have somebody else's body. Let's say you could transform into any body you want for a day, for 24 hours, you could become someone else. You could become whoever you want and you wake up as them, and you live their lives as them, and 
then you go to sleep as them. Um, first of all, it would be so weird to wake up in somebody else's body. I mean, the body is not yours. The hands, the fingers, the the how you move, your height. Maybe you feel lighter or heavier or maybe you have like more or less muscle and you know, skin feels different, you smell different. And it would just be so strange. So freaking strange to be somebody else in to be in somebody else's body. And then when you live their life, you notice the things that you never knew about. Like maybe maybe they have some troubles in the family or they have troubles with a family member or they feel like their friends don't really care about them or they are with them just because and not because they actually like them. Maybe they feel like they're really lonely or maybe they are really worried about somebody finding out something about their their life like somebody some or something would come to light like there are so many different things and everybody is battling with something everybody has their own struggles but the thing is that we can't see other people's struggles we can't see them we, we would actually have to live a day in their bodies to actually find out how hard it is to be them because living is hard it is for everyone and they are not special you are you are special because Even if somebody, even if there was something in your past that you wish that you had never gone through, like maybe you would be completely different if you didn't have to go through something. Um, yeah, probably true. And you would totally be someone else. Something completely different. But would it be any better though? Probably not. It would be different, but not better. And all the struggles that you have been through, they have made you stronger. They have given you wisdom. Now you know what you would do in that situation if that situation came up again. But the version of you that hasn't gone through that they had they would have no idea what to do in that situation and besides <laughs> you can't escape from yourself you can't not even for a second even in your dreams you are still you and let's face it you have always been there you have always been there for you There is nobody in this world who has been there for you like you have. You have been there every every time somebody said something bad. You have been there every time somebody made you cry. You have been there every time somebody attacked you with words or, or fists or whatever. You have always been there. You have always been there for you. And yeah, also if this is about like body image, because I feel like there there is a strong sense of that, that there is. I don't know if I have said this to you before, because I think I have uh, talked about this at least in one other reading or a couple, <laughs> couple, because now I remembered uh, another one. Um, there is this feeling of 
like hatred towards your body and it makes me really really sad um first of all your body has done nothing wrong to you your body is literally just existing and the fact that you may not like it because it's not the shape or the size or the the whatever it's ridiculous because that body you have had that body since you were born and you will continue to have that body until you die so yes absolutely take very good care of it but also love it because it has never let you down you may have been sick you may have struggled you may have broken bones but it's still there it has never broken down completely and it loves you your body loves life so give it some love your body is beautiful but if you want some help with manifesting um I mean, <laughs> obviously, it is important to love yourself as you are. Like, think like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty awesome. I'm pretty awesome as I am. But there are some details that we could hmm, tweak a little bit, you know. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Um, say this from my own experience um i used to be very envious of people i used to think like oh, i wish i wish i had that and what they have and i wish they would i would have that but i think i have that one better than they have like i would compare myself constantly to other people and i would concentrate on the lack of not having something that other people have and it made me really miserable and it made me feel like I don't belong anywhere and it just made me feel really bad and I don't know what changed but suddenly I started looking at people and I would like think like okay so I, for example if I went to the gym the past of me would have been really self conscious about the way I look, the clothes I wear, I was wearing um, or how I would look or if other people would look at me like what the hell is she doing here <laughs> and then something just changed and when I went to the gym as who I am now I was kind of like looking at people like wow there are so many beautiful bodies here awesome like Everybody looks so great. They look so good. And that's what I've been somehow doing everywhere. Like, I notice myself, like, thinking these thoughts. And sometimes when I'm, like, watching TikToks, I'm just uh, like, wow, she's really beautiful. And it's not even, like, comparing herself to me, like... Oh my god, like she is so much more beautiful than I am. But it's more like, wow, she is so gorgeous. And it has nothing to do with me, you know? Like the fact that she is beautiful doesn't make me less beautiful. Or the, at the same level. Or make me more beautiful than her. It's just, she is beautiful and I am beautiful. And we can be separate from each other. <laughs> Okay, so let's get some more cards because I have been talking about this long enough. But yeah, so if you do, this is the advice here. If you do want to change your life, it doesn't even have to have to have anything to do with bodies or beauty. It could be about like financial things or apartments or cars or boyfriends, girlfriends, um, family. Oh my god, we have another fool. See, the dreamer is also a fool. Okay, cool. 
So there is this... I feel like I feel like you have changed yourself. I wouldn't be surprised if that one card... I don't remember the number anymore. Oh well. It's the one with the girl. It's one of the swords. The one with the girl with the with a blindfold and, and the swords and she's like tied up. Anyway, you probably know the card. I don't, somehow I'm like, I don't, I don't, my brain is completely blank. Anyway, <clears throat> it's almost like you have changed yourself into thinking like you're not good enough as you are. So you have to manifest to become something new so you can feel free. There is this like desire to feel free, to feel good inside your skin, to feel like there are no expect expectations anymore. There is like, and you feel like there is, because I, I keep hearing like, but it's more like as a quote, I feel like you keep thinking this and you keep hearing this. And that would be like, what the hell is she doing here? Like, she doesn't belong here or he doesn't belong here. What the hell is he doing here? Like, that's what I feel like you keep thinking that other people think of you. And you just want to be able to go places and not have that thought in your head that you don't belong or people don't want you there. There is this desire to be free. And you honestly will be free, but you have to let go of this 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 comparison and this envy is fine. Envy is fine. It's good. As long as you don't Well, there is a quote about envy, but that I used to go by but I no longer think that. So envy, hold on, how did it go? Or was it jealousy? Uh, no, I think it was envy. Hold on, what was it? Was it, was it, um, being envious of some, being envious of someone is like drinking poison and hoping your enemies will die. Or it was something very similar to that. Um, I used to think that, but I no longer do. I actually think that jealousy is good. As long as it doesn't paint your heart black, but actually lets you know what you desire. like you're, you're envious of your friend who has a really great boyfriend or girlfriend and you have been single for a while, that's desire. You want that for yourself too, but probably not exactly like that because maybe they are not your type or maybe they're they like to prank each other and you don't like pranks or something so you don't want exactly the same but you want something like it so that is what you desire and you have to separate that from that's what i want but it's more like i don't know i don't know it's like stop thinking about i want exactly that because you can't have exactly that because that is for them but you can wish for something like that, something similar to it. There is a huge difference. Here is Seven of Cups. So I'm going to move this a little bit. So there are so many pathways you can take right now. There are so many. It's almost like, it's almost like, do you know that, do you remember that game? It was like that ladder game where you would, you would um, roll a dice and then you would take as many steps as you got. And then um, 
you could take these these ladders it 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 would like the the board would go like this like from the bottom to the top like like yeah and and then you could take these like shortcuts um like these ladders up like going up and but sometimes those ladders would be snakes and then you would go go down again like start from the beginning almost but just like go back you can take either shortcuts or you can sometimes you know you have you get the snake and you have to you fall down the snake <laughs> I don't know, whatever. <laughs> that is what I feel like you are on right now like like the game like you're playing that game right now like you want this transformation to happen you desperately want it to happen and sometimes you take a ladder and then sometimes and more often than you would like you end up on that snake and you fall down and you have to start over and you just I feel like I feel like you're getting really frustrated it's almost like it's it almost feels like 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 this is an example now in in the real world world if you have if you don't know what that game is um let's say that you have been trying to lose weight and then you lose some and you keep doing what you're doing but then you gain some and you're like oh no and then you lose a little bit again and then you gain a little bit more and it just keeps going like up and down and up and down you don't know what's going on so oh Oh, we have strength. Yes. So... There is this this shift in thinking that is required for you to get on the path that you want to get on. And it... I think that it is what do you think it is <laughs> but I think that you have been trying to avoid it because you just don't know how to do that I feel like you really want to accept yourself as you are but I feel like I, I feel like you don't know how you don't know if you can but listen you have probably been the way you are for a while now, let's say a couple of years. You've probably been like that for, for a little bit. And um, and it has been fine. You have been just wishing to become something more or something less or something different. But it hasn't happened yet. But you have been fine the way you have been. You know? Does that make any sense? You have been fine as you are. It hasn't been perfect. But it hasn't been super bad either. You have been okay. And the thinking is like, well, I could probably, I could probably like, be like this for another year or like well I could probably be like this for for two months more and then and then you feel like well maybe I could be like this for a couple more months and then maybe I could be like this for a year and then you kind of get okay with like well if I have to stay the way I am for the rest of my life I would be okay with that I would be fine you know it, it would be okay that is when change starts to happen. When you feel like you would be okay no matter what, even if you stayed this, this way your, the rest of your life, you would be okay with that because, you know, it, well, it's not exactly what I wanted, but I would be okay with it. I would be fine. I wouldn't, I don't want to say the word that I was gonna say, so 
<laughs> you know, um, um, you would be fine. That's when the change starts to happen because then you're you're like you're accepting yourself as you are, and now you can start adding something more to that. It's much harder to transform into something completely new from zero <clears throat> than it is to build on top of what you have now. That is what we want. Not completely transform into something else, but build on top of what you have already built. So that is important. That is the message here. So don't try to completely transform into something different, someone you have never been before, but you can. <laughs> okay, uh, but you can. What, what's the word? Con con no, construction, no. I don't, I, I actually lost the word. I think it's a basic word, but I don't remember it anymore. <laughs> like re, remodeling, I, I don't, I don't know. Like, you know, when you, when you, um, when you have a house and then you want to um, build a new kitchen maybe, or you want to change the kitchen and then you do this, um, the word like, uh, not construction. Is it remodeling? No. But some other word. Anyway, you probably know what it is. <laughs> I don't know. My brain is completely blanking out of that. Um, right. So, <laughs> what do you need? We have a card here that I want to show you. We have here Queen of Cups. This is what you want. This is what you want to become. Someone who is completely at, at peace with themselves because that is what you truly wanted, right? You wanted to be comfortable in your own skin. You wanted to feel good about who you are. You wanted to feel accepted. You wanted to feel loved. That is what you want, not to become someone new. You want it to be accepted and loved as you are. But maybe somewhere along the line you thought, well, maybe if I was somebody else, then I would be accepted and loved and stuff like that. But that is not what you want really, is it? You want to be loved as you are right now. You want to feel accept accepted. So. That is what you have to give yourself at first. And then someone will come along and do it for you. Because we have Knight of Cups. See, so the advice here is start by accepting who you are. And you start that by stopping the comparison. Stop comparing other people to you. Stop thinking of them as just them and they have nothing to do with you. When you're at the store and you look at somebody and, and you, like, you're like, whoa, she has an amazing dress or like... <laughs> Or like, wow, like he has a, he has, his hair is amazing. Or his, his beard is fucking magnificent. And, and don't compare, just compliment them in your own mind. Just compliment them. Just compliment. But don't compare. And then... When you think you have the, when you have that down, you can start like looking at yourself, like, you know, it's not that bad. Like, oh, I'm kind of awesome. I look pretty good, you know? Um, <laughs> and here we have the final card, Turkey Spirit, give with gratitude and grace. See, what, if you want to actually um, manifest something or maybe manifest um, weight loss or thicker hair or um, 
clear skin, whatever, whatever, or money, or nice car, or or a something, anything. If you want to, if you when, oh my god, I'm stumbling on my words because I'm getting so excited. <laughs> um, you want to manifest something that starts with gratitude because you can't manifest a leaner or fitter body if you're not grateful for having a body in the first place let's say because okay so let's say you bought a gift for your friend and it was something they they asked for they asked for this this gift and then they opened it they were first really excited then they opened it and they were like oh no it was supposed to be white or it's the it's it's not the right size it's not the right model or it's not the right color and they're like like you know like fuck this like this sucks i i don't want this it's not what i wanted you would probably never ever ever buy them a gift again would you not in a million years would you buy them a gift again because they were so ungrateful <laughs> because that's what they asked for even if it wasn't exactly the right color or exactly the right size or exactly the right model that is what they wanted and they just they were so ungrateful and they really hurt your feelings that is what universe can think as well you were given a body you wanted a body but you're like it's not the right size it's not the right shape i i wanted this to be slimmer and this to be bigger and it's not it's completely the opposite <laughs> um Start by being grateful for having a body in the first place. <laughs> for being able to walk, for being able to run, for being able to dance, for being able to... to um, feel things, to be able to touch things, to be able to hug someone, to be able to kiss someone, to be able to touch somebody's hair or feel a soft sweater, <laughs> feel snow, or feel the warmth on your skin when you're in the sunlight, or how water feels on your skin when you go swimming, that is all possible because you have a body. Doesn't matter what kind of body, but as long as you have a body, you can do all that. So start being grateful for that. And then you can start asking for little changes that, you know, aren't super necessary. Like you, you're you not like, I need to have this to be happy. Then they might give it to you when they, when they, um, when the universe feels like you appreciate what you have. Then things might start changing <laughs> we are completely <laughs> over time here but it was a really important message and i really like you and your energy so um this is what i had for you i really hope you enjoyed i would really love to read for you again and i hope i see you in my next one bye hello my beautiful pana patu so you chose the honey curl site and four of air time to rest or take a vacation a little more time before making a decision <laughs> it rhymes meditation may provide answers um yeah so what i feel right away is that you are mentally exhausted just exhausted and i'm not sure if there is a specific reason or it could be that there are many reasons for many of you it could be work it could be school for some reason i feel school for the majority of you like school is exhausting you but 
there's also a third reason. Social media. I am seeing, like, now that I'm, like, thinking, I, I keep seeing, like, flashes of pictures and videos and, and posts and, um, like, m new news clips and, and articles and stuff. It's like, it's like flooding my brain. And I feel like you desperately need to detox from social media. Desperately. And probably leave it for good. I don't know. There is something about this. I feel like, or it could be that you are just extra, extra sensitive at, at this time. But I feel like you may be the kind of people who social media is just not good for. Um, but it doesn't have to be everything. It could just be like some of them. And I feel like, see, what we watch and see on social, social media, it affects us. The same way the songs that we listen to, they, they affect us in the same way. So if you are watching videos or or I keep I keep seeing reddit for some reason and I feel like there is some I feel like there might be some some social media platforms that are very toxic and you are kind of letting that toxicity into your head into your mind into your life through your screens and you really need to take a break from all that i'd say from everything but it doesn't have to be i did a social media um, break some time ago and i think i was off it for like a month or two. I, I've never been a big social media person. Um, so, and I'm not sure if I ever will be, um, but yeah. So after that, I realized that I did miss Instagram, but not because I wanted to post anything, but I missed following certain YouTubers or certain celebrities or and and like seeing those like funny animal videos <laughs> that's what i really missed <laughs> funny cat videos so <laughs> i i brought instagram back but i haven't posted anything and i have one follower and that's my mom I had to <laughs> but I'm not following any of my friends as far as they know they don't know that I have I even have Instagram I'm not following them they're not following me I just follow the people that I want to follow who bring positivity and wisdom and and that make me feel good there is nothing in my feed that would make me feel bad nothing and so when I scroll through Instagram, it's peaceful and it's nice and it's wonderful and positive and it always makes me feel good. So if you do a t detox and then you realize that, you know, I really do miss this part of something about the social media you can have it back but you don't have to get all of it back you know unless you want to but i do feel like you have to make some decisions about okay about um social media in in particular there's something there that is not good for you so we also have ace of pentacles So, um, there is some sort of project or a work thing 
or a side hustle that is or maybe you, you have your own business or you're starting a business I feel like it will um, start to flourish or get bigger or something I feel like there is this there is this stability um, coming concerning finances stability oh honey oh honey nine of swords what's wrong baby why are you feeling this way I feel like I want to give you a hug I just feel like you are really exhausted we have two cards here that um, indicate that. I feel like you are. I feel like you are stable in life, but there is just something that is just not working out, and it's draining all of your energy. Oh, and then we have nine of wands as well. There is definitely, there is, there is this lack of boundaries in your life. I feel like you have stable life in general. I feel like you are, you are in a safe place and your finances are okay. Um, but there is something or someone who is gay, just like draining you from all of your energy I mean I just like oh like like I even feel that way now that I'm stepping into your energy it's like do you oh do you remember in Harry Potter and the prisoner of Azkaban especially in the movie where um Sirius Black was uh, at the beach in the in the dark forest oh no it was a beach it was a lake he was at the lake and these like a hundred dementors like, like swooped over and started like sucking his um his soul kind of and harry potter gets there and he's like oh no like expect a patronum expect a patronum why isn't working and so they so Sirius he collapses and this Dementor is like sucking out his soul and then there there is this like teeny tiny like speck of light that comes out of his mouth and that's like his soul and then um <laughs> the Harry Potter in the future comes from the other side of the lake and casts the um, Patronus and basically saves Sirius and the past um, version of Harry and um, this tiny little speck of light it goes back into Sirius Black's mouth or his body and um, he kind of like It's almost like he died when that speck of light, like his his soul got sucked out of his body. And then when the when it came back, it just like it kind of like <laughs> got him back into the world of living. That that is kind of what I feel here, like like these um dementors like sucking out all of my happiness, sucking out of all of my energy, like that's what I feel here. Seriously, holy shit. I feel like this may also be a person here that is doing this to you, as well as social media. We have strength. There is this, there are uh, boundaries that you are going to have to set. 
Um, and this is the, the key here. That is what you need here to set those boundaries, to build that fence here. To make sure that nobody who has, who doesn't have any business to be on your property, they won't be able to get in there to trespass. That is what you need to make make sure of. Oh, 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 okay. So we have, right. We have also three of cups. I noticed that my, the shadows of my fingers are kind of like blocking the card. And then we have the hanged man. So there is this feeling of being stuck. I feel like you feel like you're stuck in, in life kind of like, there is no way you can get out of this situation. There is no way you can get rid of this person or this thing. Like it has to stay because there's nothing you can do. And all you can do is to hope to survive. That is what I feel here. Um, but I don't think it's true. It's most certainly not true. There is something you can do. And there are people around you who will support you. I feel like... I feel like maybe this might be for just one of you or some of you, but there is like somebody you have to take care of and it's making you really, really tired. This could be... I'm seeing like young mothers and then I'm seeing like with, with newborn babies. But then I'm also seeing like people taking care of their grandparents or parents who are not well physically and that is what is really draining here or draining your energy and that is a really tough situation to be in and for some of you it it doesn't have to be that huge or large it it can be just wasting your energy on social media or news or whatever hmm. okay spirit guides what can we do about this situation what do we need to know what do we have to do give us some clear instructions please right we have the tower which I take it as, let's fuck shit up. <laughs> so, let's let's make a fucking mucky mess of things. Let's, let's just, let's destroy it all. If there is a person who is doing this to you and you have been the kind, the, you have been taking it, you have been kind about it and and um, quiet about it and you haven't really spoken your mind it is time to fucking stop it's time to voice your concerns and if it happens because i feel like that you may have been you may be or you may have been a victim of narcissism as well that is what i see like there is because I, I start to see here like a partner or an ex-partner who are being really toxic or narcissistic or someone in your family who is taking whatever they can, like leeches. It is time to set those boundaries and if they do break those boundaries... Oh, what the hell was that? Um, and if they do break those boundaries, it is time to cut them off. They have no business on your property after that. I feel like you need to research, research this. Like how to set your boundaries. Um, I have, I don't know... 
I have always been kind of forceful. I have always had my boundaries, but sometimes I have been taken advantage of. But every time that happens, I'm like, I will never let that fucking happen again. Um, but I feel like you have been doing it for too long. And you thought, I feel like you thought you could take it, but now you're just really running out of energy. You need to get away. We have Knight of Pentacles. There is a way out. Um, and I feel like you will be able to find a way from this situation, but that requires you to stand up for yourself. Just, okay, here are my, my advice. So first of all, you need to figure out how you feel. What is it that is making you feel this way? What is training your energy? Write that down. What is it? There could be many, many things. And then think about what are the things that make you feel more energized? Is it staying with friends? Is it staying at home watching Netflix? Is it reading books? Is it exercising? Is it traveling? Is it cleaning? Is it making, making a fort and going there and watch a movie with your pets I don't know whatever it is write that down and also do the social media detox do that as well so now that you know what is it that is draining your energy and you have also mapped out the things that that um, would reach recharge you you need to make sure that you make space for something that could recharge you for half an hour or an hour in a day. Make sure what it is. It could be sleep as well, just schedule an hour nap. If you can, if you can, if you just could, even just for 10 minutes, try to fit that in. Also, talk to your friends. I feel like you have really good friends that would support you and I feel like they would also have advice for you. And then, and also I feel like, because you have been doing this for a very long time, you have been in this situation for a long time, I feel like you, you're not even sure what is right and wrong anymore. Like, how, what, like what are boundaries and where should I put them I feel like your friends would really help you out with that like you know <laughs> you know like <laughs> when you have a fight with your your um, partner and you go to your girlfriend and they're like what a pig you know break up with them break up with them right now um but it's just never that simple, is it? But I feel like they would really be helpful in this situation. Okay, and then set them, set those boundaries and they apply for everyone, every single one. Also do that detox, maybe if you can do like a, I won't, I won't touch my phone after 8 p.m. or I won't, touch my phone until 9 a.m. or something like that. Stay away from your phone. And try to get away from this person that is taking your energy. It could be anyone because I, I keep hearing like a like a husband, boyfriend, a wife, girlfriend, mother, father, brother, sister. It's like it could be anyone or it could be many different people for many of you, but there is somebody in your life who is uh, sucking out or your life forced out of you and make sure that you know what to do if somebody breaks that boundary have that planned out have it planned out write down like what do I do if somebody 
crosses my boundary, what do I do? Well, I talk to them, I ask them to apologize or I will cut contact with them or I will send them a letter or I will tell them that this cannot happen, whatever it is, whatever it feels like to you. Uh, what you need to do after somebody breaks or crosses your boundary because somebody always will, somebody will try their their boundaries, they will try their limits. So make sure that you know what to do when that happens. And after that, start dreaming again. Start dreaming. What do you want from life? What is it that you want to do? Start making those future plans. But first of all, like take a break. Take a break from social media, take a break from work if you can. Take a, maybe it's not best to take a break from school, but something, something. Take some sort of a break. Perhaps you can take a break while, during Christmas. Oh, we have the Panther spirit. Reclaim your power. Reclaim it. Reclaim it. Also, meditation might work. Um, and TED Talks. There is this, like, you have to start building your self-esteem. You have to start building up your yourself. You have to start speaking in a voice that will make you heard. Because you're a strong ass bitch. You can do it. Claim your bad bitch energy. Mm -hmm. That is what I see here. That is totally what I see. Let's have one last card for you. Spirit guides, one last advice for my beautiful pal number two. It's okay. Okay, so we got two cards, oh, three cards. I'm, I'm just gonna take this one because it was the first one. Um, four of Swords. Rest, 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 rest. Make sure you sleep enough. Make sure you sleep a little extra. If you have trouble sleeping, get some some sleep medication or something because you do need your sleep even if it's just temporary because sleep at this time is so important it is the it is the foundation if you're tired you can't really focus you can't function you can't do anything you can't keep your focus and you know how it is. It is scientifically proven that people gain weight when they don't sleep enough. Like it affects everything. Their stress levels, their insulin levels, their um, cortisol levels, everything. And it all starts with getting enough rest. You need that rest. So first of all, if you haven't been sleeping enough, if it's because you have been too busy, then you need to take some time for sleeping. But if it's because you have insomnia, you can't sleep, then perhaps you need to start researching what could help you have better rest if you do not want to have medication for it. Or melatonin or, or whatever. But something has to change here. Something has to be done. And it all starts with getting more sleep. That is so important. And that will help you claim your power because you are so strong. You are so, 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 so strong. It's almost like the, like even the, the strongest, the more, most powerful war, warrior, they would lose all of their muscle and all of their strength if if they wouldn't get any food. They would lose their their muscle, they would lose their energy, they would lose their power, their strength, their, you know, mental 
state, every, they would lose everything if they did not get food. Sleep is food for you right now. So to get back your, your power, your energy, your strength, you need to sleep. You need some sleep. So that is what I had for you. I really hope you enjoyed. I would really love to read for you again. And I hope I see you in my next one. Bye. Hello, my beautiful pal number three. So I chose the Garden Quartz and King of Earth. A successful time, confidently accept opportunities you're offered the Midas touch. So something awesome is happening here. Um, some sort of a project or work thing. Some their success something will be very successful here and also um what was i gonna say did i just forget it hmm. oh no i completely lost the train of my thought it just you know left without me oh god damn it oh well Let's get some... Oh, I just saw the star, by the way. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, okay. Well, let's take these now. So we have a uh, King of Wands. So this is something that was always destined for you. I feel like you also knew that. We have two kings here, by the way. So... I feel like this is was always this was always destined for you. I feel like you always knew that you were supposed to do something like this or that you were going to succeed. And you were right. You were completely right. It is. It was. It always was. It always is. And then we have nine of cups. So this thing, it will open so many new doors for you. It just it isn't all about like, like let's say money. It isn't just money. It is, it is everything that success includes, like admiration or followers or um, freedom and financial freedom it isn't just about money it is many different things and it just i don't know you also have page of wands there is this like <sighs> there is just this like freedom of doing whatever you want to do and celebrate how far you've come because I feel like you're, you have been doing this your own way. You haven't been doing it the most traditional ways. Or this isn't the most traditional thing or something. Just there's something different about this one. And you have been doing this all by yourself on your own and in your own way. And people never expected it to work. Yet it did. And now you have something to show for it. We also have Eight of Wands. Oop. Which is speed. So things are... Just speeding up. Everything in your life is speeding up. I feel like you should get ready for things to speed up. Uh, enjoy now. If you have more time right now or spare time, enjoy it and use it well because there will be um, a time in the future when you don't have as much spare time. We have Queen of Swords. And then we have Six of Swords. So you have been guided on this path. I feel like you uh, may have felt like your spirit guides were guiding you to do this. And um, totally did. <laughs> uh, 
and the reason it actually succeeded was because you did listen. You did what they asked you to do and you listened. You slowed down when you were supposed to and rested when you were supposed to and then you um, sped up when, when it was time to. And you always had this, this certainty, this so, like deep down you always knew that it was going to happen and people doubted you but here you are here you are so pile number three spirit guides what do they need to know do we have some advice what do my beautiful pile number threes need to know do they need to hear okay right so we have six of cups there is this this a thought or this thing it's almost like it's going to last for a lifetime like it's not gonna go away you're going to keep building it. And I feel like this has been your dream for quite a while. And you have been manifesting this. And now it's finally happening. And it's time to celebrate. <laughs> Damn, do we even have any advice for you? Because you've been doing it all. Like there's, you have done everything right. Every single thing you have done right. If anything, now you know that it is coming. Whatever success you are searching for, it is coming for you. It's happening. It could be a business, could be a work thing, a salary bump or Um, getting a better position or could be doing social media stuff or anything could really be anything could be a side hustle the world I don't know, there is this little, the world is my oyster. <laughs> like there is nothing you can do. If you are right now in a, like a slump, you feel like nothing is happening or nothing is working out. This is in your very, uh, your future. Everything is gonna go right. Everything is going to go so well. What do my beautiful pal number threes need to hear? What do they need to hear? That's a bit too many. What do my pal number ones need to hear? Okay. We have King of Swords and Queen of Swords. I see. There are um, two messages here. Either you haven't met your soulmate yet. Everything else is gonna go well, but you are unsure about a soulmate. And it hasn't happened yet. I'm not sure. I feel like you may have may feel that you have never even been in love. That's something that I feel here. Like you're not even sure what to look for, what it feels like. And there is this desire to have somebody have your back. 
You need somebody to have your back. Somebody who <laughs> doesn't just want to be on the top with you, but somebody who wants to build it further, who wants to keep building it, who wants to support you, who will have your back, who will not just enjoy the benefits, but to make it even better to build on it. That's something that you want. And I think that you are um, thinking if it's even happening. And I think it will, it just isn't there yet. I think you will have this kind of person. Somewhere. But I also feel like they, the thing is, look, the Queen of Swords, she is in an ocean view, sort of, like she's on the beach or, or somewhere close to the ocean. And he is somewhere where there are mountains. So the color matches, but it's almost like it's not the same place exactly. So I'm not sure if you have found them yet. If you have already found them, awesome. And this, this is like a, if you have already found this person, then this, this couple here is like a power couple kind of card. Like you both have each other's backs. You can both lean on each other. And if you haven't found this person yet, then this person will come eventually, just not yet. Not yet. And I feel like you may not even be looking. I feel like you may feel like, you know, would be great but you know I don't necessarily need someone like I'm I'm completely fine on my own oh oh, oh I'm, I'm so sorry I kicked the camera um, I feel like you are very independent you know what you want you know how to how to get it you know what to do but you're not you don't necessarily need to share your um, your time with someone or you don't necessarily need somebody to be around you don't need all that. You just, what you want from a person is to feel supported and you haven't found that yet. And also with this success that you have or you will gain, there will also be this kind of doubt, like are they here for me or are they here for what I can offer them? Um, but this person that is coming sometime, um, they are at the same level as you. They are at the same level. So there is no um, question about if they want to benefit from you. Because, you know, you could just as easily benefit from them because you are exactly at the same level. So there is no question about that. And I feel like you are both really um, <laughs> equally independent. And I feel like this is like a union of two independent people who would do fine on their own, but deciding to be together because they trust each other. And not because they necessarily need each other, but because they choose to be together. And sometimes, you know, sometimes people are like, well, choose to be together, like what the hell? But it's actually really good, <laughs> like choosing. Like, let's say, oh, oops. So let's say 
I think it was a story or something or it was an interview or something. I don't know where I heard it, but it was um this girl said he she asked her boyfriend like, "Why do you love me?" And the boyfriend said, "Because I choose to love you." And she was like, "What the hell is that?" Like you choose to love me? Am I so unlovable that you have to choose to love me? But no. He ex like in the end, like eventually she understood that, you know. Like let's say, let's say she got really sick. He is still there because he chose to love you. Let's say that um she gained some weight. He's still there because he chose to love you. Let's say she they they lost mo their money or something. He's still there because he chose to love her, and and like that. Like it's like you guys you choose to love each other. That's what I feel here. There is this, and it's very it's a very strong union too. I feel like you two are very alike. Very, very alike. Um, there's Four of Swords. I feel like you're not very romantic. Not at all, really. Um, I feel like the other person might be a little bit more romantic than you. I've always wondered what that is because, you know... I just don't know what it is. Look at that. Can somebody tell me what the hell is in there? Like, what is that? It's like a tiny little chill for a cup. Or a bowl or something. And I'd be wondering, is it is it like referencing like the cups? Like feelings and like you have chilled your feelings? I don't know. I honestly don't know, but any anyway, I feel like you are just based on this four of swords here. You're not super romantic. You don't really care for romantic movies. You don't really care for love songs or anything like that. You think they are like cute or whatever, but it's not really something super exciting to you. Um, but I feel like this king of swords I feel like they are kind of on the same level, but they are a tiny bit more romantic than you. Oh, and it doesn't matter if... if um, I see you as the Queen of Swords, but it doesn't matter if you're male or female. And I see the other person as the King of Swords. Could be reversed, but that is how I, how, how I feel it here. Oop. We also have Page of Swords. Hmm, um, funnily enough, I got a message about having a child with this person. Hmm. And I feel like it may be, um, I feel like it may be a little bit surprising because I feel like maybe both of you or maybe just one of you didn't even want to have children. Could be you or could be the other person. Like they don't want to have children. But I feel like there will be a child. Obviously, if you really don't want to or you physically can't or they physically can't, obviously, maybe not then this message is for you. But there is something, someone... But it could also be like a like maybe this person has a child from a def, uh, from a previous relationship or something, and this child you will become their stepmother or step stepchild. I think it will be okay though. I think it will go fine. I feel like they are kind of a <laughs> um, you guys are very alike very very alike like you both dance to the beat of your own drum so you're kind of on the same frequent frequency so i do feel like something like that is coming 
and I do feel like it's from their it's on their side like this person will come to your life through this future partner and I don't think that they are exactly uh, children I feel like they are in their teens already or at least not a toddler at least but a bit older a bit older already pile number three. Oh, we have queen of wands hold on one second I'm just gonna clean up so <laughs> We have Queen of Wands. I love this Queen of Wands. Um, there is this pride. There is this this feeling of joy because I feel like you have been manifesting all of these things, and when they finally appear, it's just this pure joy. And with this Queen of Wands, I, I love that because she is like holding something in her hand and it's like this like ball of flames and she's like, <laughs> it's like, oh my god, what did I create? This is so awesome. I mean, just look at her. I love that. There is this like childlike joy in, in that creation. And you created this, this life for yourself. You did. You did it all. Oh, I just realized I never took one of these cards. I'm just gonna take one now. So pile number three. We have never actually gotten to the, the thing that you need to hear for some reason. But I feel like what you really need to hear is reassurance that this is happening or your life will be what you have imagined because I do feel like you may be in a slump right now or you may feel a bit sluggish or a little depressed um, just know that all this is possible for you it's all possible for you. Pile number three, spirit. It's pile number three. What do they need to hear right now? What messages do you have for them? Um, we have a dolphin spirit. This and that are true. Hmm. I need to think for a moment. I think I need a clarification for this one. Is it, is it in the cards? No, I'm just gonna put it over here. So, can you tell me what this dolphin spirit is all about? Okay, we have four of cups. This and that are true, four of cups. Okay, I got it. So the message here, I feel like, like I've said, like I feel like you may feel a bit down at this moment and you're not quite sure if, if all this is even happening, if it's all coming true. You hope it will, but I feel like you have a little bit pessimistic outlook on things. And I feel like that is what this dolphin spirit is here to say. This and that are true. You can be an optimist and a pessimist at the same time. Definitely. You can hope for the best and we fear for the worst. You can. And also, 
I feel like right now what you're hearing feels like a life of a completely different person. But as you start going on this path, you start realizing that, yeah, it, it actually was for me. Because as you grow older, you might be, let's say, 32 right now. You are 32, but you all are also 28. You're also 15. You're also 8 years old. You're also 22 years old. You are the age that you are now, but you are all the ages that you have been before. You're not just 20. Well, what did I say? 32. <laughs> You're not just 32. You're all the ages that came before 32. So this future that you may have in your horizon it may not feel like something that I don't, for for some reason i feel like you have this resistance like this is not for me i do not deserve this that that i don't i'm not even sure if i want it but i feel like when you move on like move <laughs> move along with your life you will start to see how it all fits together and how you are still you even if your future turns out to be completely something else that you ever imagined because I feel like this project you have you may have been hoping for it to work out and you may have felt like it, it's going to but there has also been this perhaps a little grain of thought, a doubt that has been, oh, okay, do we have, since these flew back in, I think that there may be another message here. So let's take one. Um, spirit guides, what is the last message for my beautiful pollen of threes? What is that last final message? What do they need to hear? What do my beautiful pollen referees need to hear? Okay. We have the moon. Okay. Then you have the Knight of Cups. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. So with the moon so the, you have your intuition and it's speaking very strongly to you but you are almost kind of like refusing to listen to it because you don't have it it's not based on facts it's based on feelings and i feel like you may be an aquarius <laughs> um and you realize that your intuition is saying something, but because it's not based on facts, you're not sure if it's actually true. And let me tell you, it is. And also, <laughs> this person uh, who is coming for you, they're not just a little bit romantic, they are very romantic. Like I said, like I said before, they might be a little bit romantic, but no, they are really romantic. And yes, you do deserve it. I feel like there is a question of, um, do I deserve it or not? And you do deserve it. This and that aren't true. So there are two facts that can contradict each other, but they can both coexist at the same time. Could it be the doubts and the facts <laughs> or um, intuition and facts? I don't know, maybe you know for yourself. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, th I think this is it. Yeah, this is what I had for you. 
And I really hope you enjoyed. I would really love to read for you again. And I hope I see you in my next one. Bye.